I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible, that some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal a rock from anybody. How did this have to happen to me? Most people, they stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves. That a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear. The fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success. What if they do and I can't handle it? These are not risk takers. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. Because I got my mama counting on me. I got my sister counting on me. I got my son and my daughter counting on me. I got a world that gets up every morning and watches me. I got little kids who don't believe that they can do it. When they saw me, they thought now they can do it. So I get up every morning at 2.30, 3 o'clock. Why? Because greatness is upon me. Dr. King is dead. Malcolm X is dead. I'm that new guy. I'm that new inspiration. I'm the guy you look at when your daddy ain't in your life, when your daddy in prison. I'm that guy that comes to your high school and tell you, you can make it happen. Greatness is upon you, you better act like it. This is a time when you ask yourself, was it to live for? There's so much in life, so take every inch of it and embrace your struggle. Yes, it will be hard at times. Yes, it will hurt. You will feel like quitting, but you're no quitter. You fall in, you get up, you bleed, wipe it off. You in pain, so what? It's temporary. Life goes on. If you give it everything you got, no matter the time, eventually you will be awarded. If you're suffering, keep suffering. Because at the end of the pain, is success. Not one person became successful overnight. It took blood, it took sweat, and yes, it took a lot of tears. The best attribute they had, no fear. So what do you want to do with your life? How do you want to be remembered? Nobody ever talked about that person that gave up, but everybody always remembered those who kept going. Life is what you make it, and if you don't take advantage, you will never know what it means to succeed. The time is now. If tomorrow wasn't promised, what would you give for today? Forget everything else. Forget everything else. Forget that there was any sunlight left. What would you spend today thinking about? Yourself? We get one opportunity in life. One chance in life to do whatever you're going to do. To lay your foundation and to make whatever mark you're going to make. Whatever legacy you're going to leave. Leave your legacy. And it's found through effort.